Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today in Sandra's Paint Studio. My name is Sandra. I appreciate you being here. Uh, today we are working on a 12 by 36 inch canvas and I'm going to be doing a flip cup but I'm going to be doing it relatively simple. I want some negative space. So that's the plan. I appreciate you being here and let's get into it. Okay, so we're back and I have taped the back. I've got my tacks in the bottom for leverage from the table. My canvas is cleaned off. I'm gonna put my gloves on. Now, today, we are using um, titanium white as the base. I'm gonna be using the flip cup method. So I've got my cup here with the hole in the bottom that you can see there that on the back side I have taped. So it'll release that paint once I pull the tape off after we've got our cup full or relatively full. I have got uh, this color here, it's a really pretty blue and it is just table scrap colors. Um, Actually, for all of these are, well, except for the gold, I suppose, um, are colors that I have mixed together. And I've just mixed them together because I wanted to use them up. And so there's a few air bubbles. So I'll have to make sure we torch those out. And I've got my torch nice and handy here. And then this last color, this really beautiful kind of royal blue, I suppose. Um, again, I've mixed some colors um, that were similar together just to use up some more paints in this painting. Now, my plan is to kind of have my composition starting here and trailing out to the end uh, with some negative space. So uh, let's get started by flooding the canvas. All right, we'll start with our titanium white here. Okay, we'll just move that around a little bit here first. All right, and we're back. So the canvas is flooded. I am going to give it a torch here because as I mentioned, um, I just mixed this up. A few air bubbles. All right, let's get on to the fun part. Okay, so I've got my cup with the hole in it. I'm gonna flip here and hopefully it drags a little bit. I'm gonna start with this dark blue in the bottom. And then we're gonna go with the table scraps color. It's very pretty. And I think I'm going to put in some gold. And then we'll use this pretty color. I'm 
we'll go back with a little bit more gold. This might be too much paint, but better to have too much than not enough. So um, let's do this dark color again. Dark blue. That one. And I think we'll end with this other blue color here. And I think that should be plenty of paint for the minimalistic composition that I'm going for. Got that edge a little bit there. That's okay though. We'll touch up all the sides and edges after as well. So I'm not too, too concerned about that. But we'll just see, get off there. That's okay. Like I say, we'll, we'll touch that up at the end anyway. Okay, so flip cup is ready to go. Now, the trick is to flip it without splattering it everywhere. And I'm gonna go on this end here. Um, all right, here goes nothing. Oh gosh. Well, would you look at that? <laughs> That's incredible. I don't have any spillage outside the cup. It's starting to flow, which is amazing. And let's see what happens when we take the tape off and release some air into the cup that'll cause it to flow. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. Well, let's see what happens when we tilt this. Give it a torch. These colors are absolutely stunning together to start with. My goodness. Getting some cells, which is what I wanted. And I'm gonna tilt it a little bit back just to get it off that back edge there a little bit. Like I say, I do want negative space, so I'm not too concerned about that. And let's go. It's great in these big canvases that you've got the, the bar in the middle underneath. It's uh, a lot easier to sometimes manipulate a little bit. Sorry if you can't see that. This way towards you now a little bit. All right. Way a little bit, and this way a little bit. Now, I don't think that was too terribly much paint. Um, I think it's flowing really great. I'm really sorry you can't see this right now. I will bring you in <laughs> since I need to concentrate on getting this paint moving here. Okay. Well, wowie, wow, wow, wow. I'm just going to tilt it a little bit more this way. This way. There's a little bit more coverage than what I was going for. 
However, it's stunning. That is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little torch. I'm going to review and decide what else I want to do here. We've got a bit of paint build up here, so I think I'm going to pull that down this side. I don't necessarily want, I'm, I'm loving this negative space here, and I've got a big piece of hair in there I need to get out, so let me just grab something to get that out of there. Yuck. Okay, got that. Wow, this is so pretty. Okay, so I'm just uh, off to the side now and I'm gonna actually, let's go this way instead. Grab that middle bar. Okay. The one thing I am not crazy about is this here. Oh, let me just wipe my hands so I don't drip. I am famous for dripping. All right. It is so pretty. I think I'm gonna drag my finger down here. I want a cleaner line here. And I think I might do the same here. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a clean line. I just don't like what it looks like right now. Um, yeah, let's start here. Pour a little bit more white on there, I think. that out of my way. I'm such a messy painter. I've already tried to clean up a little bit um, because I'm just such a messy painter, but I guess that's kind of what it's all about, isn't it? <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. Okay, I've got out my little palette knife. Um, the gloves have come off. Um, I think I'm still not crazy about this here. Um, but this one over here is even more <laughs> bothersome. Okay. there. I like that better. It's a little more cohesive. And I think I want to do the same here a little bit. Um, just drag that through there, I think. All right. Okay, let's see. Give this a little bit more of a torch here. Okay, that is really pretty. All right, and here we are with the wet results. Um, overall, I'm relatively happy with it. It is very pretty. I've made an absolute mess, but who doesn't when they're painting? <laughs> anyway, so we've got a little negative space here. This little ripple, that will sort itself out in the white there. I'm not too concerned. Um, it is very pretty. Sorry, there's a little bit of glare. I've got an overhead fluorescent light. 
Um, I'm really pleased with this. The gold kind of got swallowed up. There's not a lot of gold. I mean, there is a little bit, but no real pops. It's sort of just hiding there, if you will. Anyway, I think this is really pretty. I do love the negative space. It was a little bit more paint than what I had hoped. Um, but overall, I don't need to show you the white part. Um, overall, I'm very pleased with it. This part down here, that is my favorite. I think that looks so cool. Um, yeah, I mean, you can see the gold tinges, a little bit of gold there in the center. Um, yeah, overall, I'm pleased. I think it turned out really, really pretty, and I'm loving the negative space. So there you have it. Thank you so much all for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye for now. All right, here we are with the dried results. I'm very happy with this painting. I thought it was going to be a little bit more minimalistic, but um, that's not how it turned out. It's still got negative space, and I'm happy with that. The colors are very pretty, other than the gold being virtually swallowed up by the blues, but that's okay. Uh, so that was the bottom left, bottom uh, top left, uh, kind of rolling through the middle here. Um, it is very pretty, lots of interest. That's really pretty in there. That's very cool. I do like it. There's a few, you know, some cells and some lines and some negative space. And yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. I enjoy the whole process. So that's what makes it super enjoyable. Bottom right. That is probably the most interest in the painting. It looks very pretty on that corner. I like it a lot. And a little bit of gold there that we had talked about previous. And there you have it. Thank you so much again for joining me. And we'll see you in the next video. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment below. Bye!